Hello, everyone, and welcome to a uh, Legend of Zelda fan game called The Fallen Sage. I hope the uh, the game volume isn't too loud. This track is like really loud, um, but once we get into the game, it'll be a bit quieter. In fact, I think I'll go ahead and hit new game right now. Uh, so this is a Zelda fan game. It was made by Undying Nephilim. Uh, people might know him for his work on um, the, uh, what is it, Hyrule Total War. I think that's what he's been doing lately. Is this, am I still getting the echo thing? I don't think so. I tried to record this earlier, but I had some really bad like echo and crackles. I think I still have the crackles. Long before the realm of Hyrule, in the Golden Realm lay the Holy Triforce. I wonder if it's because of how I have the microphone hooked up now. Summoned by the goddesses, seven sages were ordered to guard the omnipotent relic from the hands of those who would steal it. But even the goddesses could not have predicted the Triforce's greatest threat as one of its sacred guardians. So this game was made in RPG Maker XP. Um, it's actually a pretty fantastic uh, game. Um, it, well, I shouldn't say fantastic. It's actually pretty bad. Um, the story is pretty fantastic, but it's coded bad. It's got several glitches, so, uh, a couple of them which are game breaking. I think I fixed them, but I no longer have the glitch list. Um, so because I no longer have the glitch list, I couldn't search for the glitches. So I'm hoping that I fix them and that I don't have any more problems. So, but we'll have to see. I think there's a glitch in one of the party selection screens now that I'm thinking about it. I don't think I fixed that either. It's good to see you again, Link. Remember me? Of course you do. Well now, it would seem your hatred has caught up with you. Dark Link! Starting us straight off with Dark Link. Do you think you can possibly defeat a shadow? So, um, this guy, you cannot defeat. Um, you can go ahead and throw out as many cross cuts as you want, which is your basic skill. You can just sit here and defend the whole battle. You can sit there and use the fight. It doesn't matter what you do. He's going to kill you. As long as there's light in you, I will always be here opposite of it, Link. So because of that, um, I don't really have much choice but to uh, fight, basically. <laughs> uh, well, it's, but to die, I guess, is proper, actually. I'm everything you hate, and soon I will consume you as a shadow wills. It is inevitable. Now he's gonna cast darkness. That hurts. And he's gonna attack me for no damage. And I think now, it seems once again we are evenly matched. If you don't know yourself of course you should link. It's time to end this. And essence of shadow. Yay! I died. <laughs> and so it would seem your antithesis has come about and defeated you, Link. Now let everything you despise about yourself flow through your blood. And so now I will smite your light and darkness rule you, O hero of time. Um, so you can notice a lot of glitches in some of the graphics. Um, and so it begins, my lord. RPG Maker is very specific about how you set up the graphics. And Undying Nephilim did not set up the graphics in that manner. Um, so there's a lot of... What is with the crackling? Seriously. Oh my gosh. Is it like R RPG Maker that's doing that or what? What's going on? <laughs> I'm really getting ticked off here because I thought I fixed that before I started the recording. As there may not be a fix to it. It might be 
They've got a USB hub now that I have everything hooked into because holy crap, I have way too much space between where the microphone and my computer was. And so I was using a USB extender, except that the USB hub is small. And so now the USB hub is on the extender. So I don't think I can use that anymore. So plus I'm trying to get all of the cords out of the way. So I wonder if this controller works. No, it doesn't work. Is it plugged in? It is plugged in. That doesn't work. Okay. I just thought I would see if I could get a controller to play the game. Oh well. When will you wake? So uh, this is probably my favorite character in the uh, whole game. Um, and you'll see why as the uh, story progresses. Um, no, I guess I don't hit a button here. I guess I just have to wait for Link to wake up. I thought maybe I was supposed to hit, whoop. <laughs> maybe I do hit a button. I don't know. I would have to stop and look at the coding for that part. Um, so, a little bit of information. Um, the Fallen Sage is actually the first of two games that Undying Nephilim did in RPG Maker. Um, the second is Times Menagerie, and it is a much better game. But in order to play that, I have to play through the Fallen Sage. And yes, there is the Echo still. I don't know what's causing that. I guess I just have to play with Echo. So, I knew you would awake soon. Oh, did I catch you by surprise there? Hee hee hee. Who am I and where are you are always the first questions your kind asks. Well, I'll skip to the good stuff. You are in the capital city of Hyrule, and I saved your life. I found you outside the castle walls. Your body was dragged from who knows where. Since I saved your life, you're going to help me with a little favor. There's something of mine that a foolish soldier confiscated from me because he thought it was his. Basically, you and me are going to sneak into the castle's treasury and get it back. So what do you say? Yay. <laughs> I love how he's just like, uh, okay. All right then. Let's get going. Oh, and my name is not important right now. You can call me Lores as a code name if you want. Anywho, let's get going. There is a quarantine that has been ordered by the King of Hyrule. Getting into the castle district will be difficult. I'm sure there's some agents that we can seek for help to get inside. Lores is now a party member. Alright, so you can see that this is kind of not well done. Uh, you can see a major glitch here. Um, <laughs> I am error. Uh, I don't think he's supposed to do that considering that he doesn't from here. I think he just forgot to put direction fix on that character. Um, that, that happens unfortunately. Whoa! Did I just get like louder? What the heck? I like entered this area and I feel like it got louder. I think it's RPG Maker that's causing all these weird things with the microphone. I don't know. Maybe it's not. So this character <laughs> is glitched out. She's supposed to be chasing, chasing the Cuckoo. But the Cuckoo, for some odd reason, got coded into the pillar. Like, it's walking into this pillar. So because it's walking into the pillar, the kid can't follow the Cuckoo. I don't know. The, it, I don't think this was beta tested. I think that was the, that was the main issue. I don't think the majority of this game was like beta tested. Like I think somebody tested all the like battles, but that was like it. Ahem. Like to make sure some things work, but not like everything. <laughs> the quarantine is horrible. I want to leave the city, but my brother left, and now I can't get back in. Oh dear. So there are a lot of glitches. And when I say there's a lot of glitches, I mean there are a lot of glitches in this game. I tried to fix as many as I could, but I can't guarantee anything. Oh yeah, we come back here later, actually. Um, I'm actually looking for something. There's supposed to be like a heart container or a heart piece. Anywhere as I have, please enjoy browsing. Uh, done that. All basic RPG Maker stuff. Undying Nephilim didn't really go in and make any of his own items when he did this one. He did later in Times Menagerie, but not in this one. 
What is my army? How am I at 80 today? Ah, uh, none of this actually. Somewhere in all of this is something that I'm looking for, but I'm not seeing it so far. Nice weapons in all the land. So this is obviously where we can get like weapons and stuff. Obviously we have no rupees uh, yet. Um, unfortunately, um, I may have to do a little bit of cheating on that aspect. Uh, the first dungeon is ridiculously hard and you don't get any potions or anything. Hi there, miss. Miss? Oh yeah, because I have Loras in my party. Curious, the king never even gave a reason for the quarantine of the capital. Ah, oh, he actually talked. Last time I tried to talk to him, he didn't. Um, so yeah, a bunch of shops that don't sell anything of real interest. I would love to pick up a bunch of this, like, red potion. Uh, but that's not a thing that's gonna happen. Um, I'm probably gonna do uh, a good bit of cheating throughout the game by implementing, um, like, giving myself a bunch of rupees so I can buy, like, potions and stuff. Because this, for, especially this first dungeon, is really hard. Try searching the bar to the south. There's bound to be someone there who can help. Um, it's unfortunate that it's really hard, but it is actually really hard for some odd reason. I don't know why. I don't think, like, again, I don't think this game got fully tested properly. But here, keep your eyes out. And I think that's one reason that it's so difficult. So, what can I get you to? Two waters, that'll be all. I'm also not sure what he, Undying Nephilim was trying to do with the fireplace there. Water? Ha! If you insist. There's also a lot of typos. But like, he comes over here and he's like getting water from like the fireplace. But like, he didn't use the like middle fireplace tile. So I don't, I don't know what he was trying to do there. <laughs> there you are. Thank you. Now to get to my real business. Real business? Yeah, maybe you could help me out a bit. Let me guess, you want to sneak into the bloody castle, am I right? You're pretty good. Listen, if I were you, I would stay away from the castle. I've heard all kinds of rumors lately. Oh, what kinds of rumors? Well, the reason why the king has placed the castle, castle capital under quarantine. I've heard rumors is because he's planning on a full-scale war. A war? With who? The Gerudo? No. This is where it gets strange. Apparently the Goma have organized into an army. Currently the king believes they are massing along the Kingdom of Hyrule's borders and will attack here any day. Goma? Ridiculous. This puny arachnids could never take on the might of Hyrule's army. They are only rumors. Into the castle you want to get? Info you desire. Defeat I must be. What are you saying? So, this is Selfos. I am Selfos. You want information? You must prove yourself to me. So this guy will actually be a party member later on. Um, let's just go ahead and do fight, do poison edge. Try to poison the guy with poison edge. It has a percentage chance of poisoning. I don't know what it is. It's like pre-built into RPG Maker. So, um, it's not that high. I don't, it's not like, it's like a 50% I think, is my guess. I have no idea. Ooh, yawn all of a sudden. Sorry. I'm impressed. So you wish to get into the castle? Yes, tell us now or I will finish you off, you coward. Steady there, lass. Come down. I know a way into the castle. More so, a way out. In times of peril, there's a passageway where the Princess Elba sneaks out. You can find this passage hidden in the Temple of Time. The Temple of Time? <laughs> and he's unconscious. He's knocked out. Come on, Link. Let's head to the Temple of Time. Maybe we can find out more there. So I actually did step towards the Temple of Time for a moment earlier. Um, so we'll actually be uh, heading there in a moment. Um, there's a little more that I want to check. See if there's something up here. Ah, yes. Here's the castle. No entry is allowed into the castle district until the quarantine is over. Okay, bye-bye. Um, I don't think I can even, like, get out of the city. No, see. 
No one can leave the city until the king ends the quarantine. So, there's really not much to do uh, in this game at first. Uh, uh, I am about to go into... See, there you go. You can see that... Okay. Apparently, I can just walk under the fountain. But yeah, you saw the uh, the girl running around there, and then she just, like, they get stuck here. It's supposed to loop in an endless, like, circle. But, except for the fact that the cuckoo is not going down far enough, it gets stuck there. So, uh, a lot of glitches. A lot of glitches. Um, so this is the Temple of Time. I think I'll go ahead and end this episode off here before I step in there. Um, so I hope you guys have enjoyed. And in the next episode, we will move on to the uh, first dungeon. So... I'll see you guys next time.